Welcome back to the Allegheny Northern in N scale. And I know you're looking at this video going, this must be the shortest video he's ever done. And you're right, it is. And that's because I'm just teasing at what I'm going to do in an upcoming video here. Uh, I don't know how long it's actually gonna take me. I think I can get it done in one video, but um, want to show you what's going on. You're looking at some 3D printed equipment that just arrived today from Shapeways. And I know you guys are always asking me where I got my vehicles. So there you go from Shapeways. And I sort of have them laid out um, in a particular order. And that particular order is um, I'm trying to mimic a road building scene. Now that's a previously purchased 3D printed uh, asphalt paver there that is uh, sitting where I, where I want it. But um, the reason I'm going to do this video is because I constantly w watch in... Uh, various folks' video where I see construction equipment and it's not placed correctly. And you go, well, wait a minute, what do you mean not placed correctly? Well, if you've ever driven down the road, and I'm sure most of you have, um, and you've seen road construction ahead and you go, oh, great, I'm going to be late for work or late for wherever I'm going, etc., etc. If you've ever stopped and paid attention to some of the equipment and how the site is set up, um, there is a reason we do what we do when we're working on the roads. Um, and so I want to take my knowledge of that and actually apply it to my model so that my equipment is placed correctly, it looks realistic, um, and then show you how I build the scene around that. So uh, in the upcoming video uh, series um, or, or video, however it works out here, I'm going to uh, briefly explain to you um, how to get these models prepped and ready for the layout. And then I'm going to talk about uh, how I place them, and then I'm going to build the scene. So I'm going to show you what I what I did. Now I will tell you that already um, I've taken uh, the liberty of putting the plaster work in. Um, so all this is simply sculpt to mold, um, get you know getting the base roughed in here, and then it is finished off on the section of road that's already going to be paved with um, smooth it, Willen Scenic smooth it. So uh, I'm going to get this prepped. This is not really going to be part of the video because I think by now all of you know how to mix. Um, plastic or a uh, plaster so uh, I'm not going to show a video on how you do plaster work um, but uh, I am going to show you right now here this is this is a great example so I've got two models here um, you know with two different types of plastic so here's a front loader um, and this is I think it's a 954 um, cat that's basically what it's based off of and shame on me for not realizing that that is a much 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 larger uh, loader than what I needed. I actually need something a little bit smaller. Um, so this, he's not going to be on the scene. He's going to actually go over onto the mine um, because that's that's more appropriate for a loader of this size. And that's kind of what I'm talking about, making sure your equipment's sized correctly. Um, but uh, here, here's an articulated dump truck sitting right next to it. Uh, and you'll notice the plastics are different. So, um, and that's just the resin that they use to, to cast it. So I will tell you that this, this white plastic, you get some decent details, and if the model's not too fine, um, you know, you can get, you can see it's a little bit rough, uh, so it needs sand, it needs cleaned up, it's not as detailed. But when you get something like, like this, with the clear plastic, it's a very high detailed plastic, doesn't really require any work, it's ready to go. Um, so just, just note that when you're um, ordering your 3D prints, uh, if you're ordering 3D prints. Sometimes they come in pieces, like this little guy does, um, and that's great because you can either, you know, position them how you want them uh, and glue them in place, or you can leave them not glued, you know, your, your choice. Um, but, you know, certain things like these pipes, you know, they, they don't really need that fine detail, so there's no sense in spending the extra dollars for them. Um, but this video coming up is going to show you how to assemble this equipment to make it look like it's in a realistic um, scene. And then, you know, once again, we're going to talk a little bit about heavy equipment um, because um, that's something that I'm you know, really interested in and I'm going to share my knowledge with you. Stay tuned for that. Uh, it'll be coming out here uh, in a couple of weeks as I get these models prepped and painted and all the video segments edited. So uh, I don't know if I'm going to get it out to everybody before Easter, but if it's not out before Easter, it'll be out right after. Okay, folks, stay tuned.